Larry Smokey Jensen for the Beverage Underground. It's a lovely day, and there's nothing quite like a Guinness. I'm with Alvin Felder. Alvin, uh... Salancha. Salancha. We are drinking Guinness, and we are at an authentic Irish pub, and Alvin, we got a, uh, we got a new holiday to talk about, don't we? We do. Arthur Guinness Day. Now, Arthur Guinness Day is relatively new as far as a promotion goes, but people have been celebrating this day That's for right. many, many years. It's, uh, it's the signing of the 9,000-year lease at St. James Gate. And uh, that's that's the year that Arthur Guinness took his inheritance and basically bought a, a rundown brewery 252 years ago. So there's quite a bit of time left on the le leash yet. Now we've been, we've been talking over a, over a couple of pints here, and Guinness really is the brand that you can find everywhere. It's in most I mean, how many countries? Is it in every single country? I it's, mean, I heard it, that it's in over 100 countries. Uh huh. Um, but every drop of Guinness draft is brewed in Dublin, Ireland at St. James Gate. See, a lot of people don't know that, that that Foster's thing, that they don't make it there. Right, right. People don't realize that, but Guinness is true, um, and, and the draft is tremendous, and that's really the way people get it most of the time, isn't it, draft? Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's the best way to drink Guinness, um, and it's, to me, the most iconic beer in the world. There's no doubt about it. Now, Arthur Guinness Day, uh, for, for those of you that haven't, uh, haven't heard about it, and you're going to want to save the date. It's September 22nd. This does mark the 9,000-year lease of the St. James Brewery, but at 1759 around the world or in our little in our eastern standard time or in your wherever you're at at 559 what happens man everybody's going to raise a glass everybody huh? raises a glass to Arthur to Arthur that gives us so much happiness year round and the other thing is that, that Arthur Guinness Day it's kind of a halfway point right it really is um well September 17th is the actual halfway to St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day and uh, Arthur Guinness Day is just after that. So we got two days to celebrate. You really then. do. We got the 17th, and then a few days later we get to uh, celebrate it again. <laughs> tell me, um, tell me a little bit about um, uh, your experience uh, selling Guinness. I know that people got to come up. To, you got to, you got to be like the Pope when you come to it's, town. It's the greatest job in the world. It's got to yes. be. It really does. And and I'll tell you, from this side of the bar, and from the promotional end of it, and and not only Irish pubs but cigar bars to sure. neighborhood places. Places. I mean, you, you know, you don't have to be Irish to know that Guinness is the best, the very best out there. No, it really is, and and it goes with everything. It goes with fish, meat, you know, anything you're eating, anything you're smoking. It's it's cigars. It really does, and that's uh, that's what we we find that a lot of times here in the in the Irish pub, and we're at Ballyorney Irish Pub, who's going to be putting on a grand celebration mm -hmm. all weekend for uh, Guinness and Arthur Guinness Day, but. Um, for the most most locations are just going to be centered on that Thursday, the twenty second, right. right? But what we find, um, and it's so mixable, like you said, it pairs with everything. It, it pairs with everything. You can even pair it up with other beers. You know, it floats on top of a lager, it floats on top of an ale. And, and that's the next thing I was going to mm -hmm. get. You know, here at the Irish Pub, where you have a product like Magners and you have some of the other brands. I mean, Guinness makes them better, doesn't it? It really. It, it, <laughs> I mean, you I know, know you. I know you got to be know, a little bit modest, but Guinness makes those brands you know, even better. You know, one of the best drinks in the world is is a half and half. It's half half harp and and Guinness sure. is right on top, and it it just it's a perfect mix of that that lager and and that stout, and it really creates a great taste. So we want you to visit the Guinness website. We want you to make sure that you have some a good Guinness shirt picked out or a hat or some uh, something to go with it because on September twenty second. At 5.59 across the world, we're going to raise a glass to Arthur Guinness. And uh, Alvin, thanks for joining oh, us here on the Beverage you, Underground. Cheers. Appreciate it.